Arctic socks. Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, a quick collection review, collection advice rather for Nathan, he's in his late 20s, living on the east coast of the US, it's been a bit of a tough year in the family and uh, he'd like to put something nice on the wrist to uh, expand his collection, he's a big fan of uh, Grand Seiko, when he was a student he first got the uh, cocktail time, Saab, the, the presage, uh, then uh, he um, with his first uh, work paycheck, he got the vintage uh, King Seiko, very cool, and he stayed uh, in that line and finally got uh, the Grand Seiko high B that he really wanted, super quality watch. And uh, yeah, he's telling me uh, he, that he'd like to get a, a high quality uh, watch. Well, you already have one with the Grand Seiko. Uh, he says he's looking at uh, a Rolex Explorer or maybe the OP. 41 or maybe go for the watch that he's been uh, longing after for a while uh, tudor black bay 58 uh, blue so first things first as we all know quite difficult to get the new rolex the explorer is only 36 millimeter i think might be a bit too small uh, i prefer my 39 if the market comes down maybe you can still get one of those prices have uh, risen uh, but right now they're a bit uh, cooling off we'll see a bit uh, what happens i love the explorer in the 39 millimeter version if that's your grail you know try to uh, to get it but the thing is if you pay too much for it you're going to be very precious with it and it's more of a tool watch than a watch that you want to be precious with like your grand seiko with with the beautiful polishing and all that so I'm not sure if it's the, the right move for you at this point. Uh, the OP41, also hard to get in the fun colors, uh, but maybe in a black or blue a bit uh, easier. Yeah, it's quite nice. I don't know what it brings though on top of your Grand Seiko. Um, I think I would stick to uh, what you love, not try to uh, compete with the Rolex crowd. Now Tudor, they've gone a long way. It's not the Tudor of the past. They have their own manufacturer. Uh, movements and the Black Bay 58 is such a sweet watch and very clean you seem to like the clean look and I think the the blue version indeed is cleaner than the black version and uh, you would enjoy it very very much I don't think you're uh, that it's any compromise you know to get the, the Tudor uh, instead of the, uh, the the Explorer I think it's the one first that is, uh, is available and it's an amazing daily watch and no problem if you put scratches into it it's a diver on top of it so it's really usable all the time if you love it go for it i would say uh, don't bother with uh, spending too much on the on the rolex and all the trouble that comes with it uh, the stigma that comes with it uh, you'll be worry free if you get the black bay 58 blue that you want go for that but since you love uh, seiko i really respect that and uh, consider the uh, one of the sla divers high quality divers uh, maybe the the willard for example i really love uh, that watch but uh, all the other ones i don't know maybe you prefer the 62 mass and uh, just stay with the brand uh, that uh, that you love i think it's done uh, good by you i really like your collection it's great to see somebody sticking to uh, one style and it's uh, it's easier right uh, than having all those different things in a collection trying to tick too many boxes i really like it uh, i think i would stay with seiko if i was you but uh, the black bay 58 blue yeah it is the usable watch um, and i think the look will work great with your grand seiko your collection will be uh, fantastic uh, with that piece thank you nathan for your for your message guys if you have anything to uh, add to this put it in the comment Give Nathan a like. I love his uh, his three piece collection already. Bye bye, guys.